Next up on WTV, CDC updated protocols, the end of the dual credit semester, and today's installment of Movie Mystery. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey there, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Tuesday, December 8th, and I'm Caroline Caruso with today's daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. As scientists and researchers learn more about the coronavirus, guidelines are changing as should what and shouldn't be done. Helping leading the way and in getting information out is the Centers for Disease Control, which just suggested some of its guidelines for quarantine. WTV's Kate Graham takes a look at what they could mean here in Frisco ISD. Although the number of cases and hospitalizations continues to climb, the CDC has to keep their guidelines with handling the virus up to date. And recently, they changed the time frame in which somebody has to self-isolate. The changes already trickled down to Frisco ISD. So the CDC has released uh, additional guidance with regards to quarantining. Um, there are two options that we could take. One is that uh, quarantine be shortened to seven days with a negative test. The other option the CDC put out is to shorten quarantining when you've been in close contact with a positive case to 10 days. Based on the number of cases in Frisco and the, and the spread that we're seeing, the district has determined to shorten our quarantining to 10 days. So students and staff members that have been in close contact with a positive uh, person are asked to stay home for 10 days before they return to school. But while the quarantine period is shorter, there are certain things that can still be done in effort to prevent a positive COVID test. As always, wearing a mask, social distancing, hand washing, all of those other things that we've put in place to stay safe and healthy is still uh, highly recommended. Reporting for WTV, I'm Kate Graham. Dual credit students are finishing up the semester two weeks earlier than on-campus classes. WTV's Trinity Williams has the story. While most students in Frisco ISD in this semester before winter break on December 18th, call and college dual credit classes are ending their semester this Friday. Um, well, I didn't want to take like AP Lang or anything like that, so I just figured dual credit was the easiest way for me to like get college credit and then still just like take a pretty easy class. I just do everything on my own time and it's not a lot of hard work. It's just like essays occasionally. Everything we do is just like we do it on our own and it's kind of like your own learning environment and no, no really rules or anything like that. With no in-person dual credit classes this year, students have been able to leave school earlier, getting more time to do work. It was different this year being online, but it was nice because you get to do it like at your own pace and complete the assignments whenever you want to and you don't have like a teacher there telling you when this needs to be due and how to do it exactly. Reporting for WTV, I'm Trinity Williams. Are you ready to test your movie knowledge? Here's Andrew Hadegi with this week's edition of Movie Mystery. Hey there, Red Hawks. Welcome back to Mystery Movie. As always, I'm your host, Andrew Hadegi. Last week's winners were Hunter Ritchie, Lawson Town, and Luke DeLodge. Additionally, the first teacher to respond with the correct answer was Miss Griffin. Now get your phones out and ready for this week's hint. After accidentally being kidnapped by a jolly fat saint, an energetic man-child travels from the North Pole to the Big Apple in search of his family in this Christmas classic. If you think you know the correct answer, scan the QR code or go to the link below to access the Google form. If you missed the hint, it's provided again on the Google form. Good luck. That's it for Mystery Movie. I've been your host, Andrew Howdigy. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. Liberty Student Congress is collecting toiletries, including deodorant, soap, and toothpaste for the Austin Street Homeless Center in Dallas. You can place donations in the box in the rotunda or take them to room E100. The drive will last until December 11th and any donations are appreciated. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors who have not gotten their portraits taken for the yearbook have one last chance. From 3 to 6 p.m. Friday, December 11th, they can take photos at the address below. No appointment as necessary. Email breenk at friskrisd.org with any questions. Photography Club is having their first meeting on Thursday, December 10th at 4.30 p.m. To get the Zoom link to the meeting, join the Remind code 6GD6F6. We would love to see you there. Looking for a competitive environment to show off your gaming prowess? Sign up for the High School Esports League Spring Major through the Liberty High School Esports Club. 
For a full list of games and more information on how to join, please scan the QR code below. That's it for today's daily update. This is Caroline Crusoe for Wingspan TV.